All right, I'm Kurt Ocean, and this is your move of the week. I have Tony with me today, and I'm gonna show something that I thought I'd never show you ever in my whole life, but I'm gonna show you it anyway. Go ahead, side control. So, it's all depending on his hand position and everything like that. So, I have side control, and I'm center on center, and this guy has left his arm here like this, which I, I don't, I don't do this hand position because it just induces a, a different type of spin choke. What I'm going to do is I bring my knee up, I'm going to fish out this side of his lapel, and I'm going to pull it into a point like this, then go over and tie himself to himself, right? And so once I have this, I can bring my hand under and I can either use his collar or the same collar. And once again, I'm going to make my arms long and then I spin and I choke, right? But the important thing is, is this hand position is really conducive to, to, the, to the sling blade, which is what I call this. It's when I tie the guy to himself. It's very conducive to that. And so I don't do that. I hide my arm underneath the other guy's arm and then accompany him when he tries to pull away. But this, as soon as you see this, they're trying to frame up which may work or may not. And what usually it does, it just leaves their arm here because I, I, can, I can push it out with my face or I tie them up. So that's why I don't like this, this, this hand position. Right? So <coughs> think about that when you're training. This is a temporary <coughs> hand position. Maybe I'll, I'll do that next week. But first off, a, I, I, I see this hand position and I have side control. And what I'm gonna do is I bring my knee up and touch his hip because there has to be something touching his hip. My toes are activated and my hips are down. I come here, I dig this out, I come over and get this towards the wrist as much as possible. Now I can come up on both knees. I start to sneak my hand in here and then look, I either grab the same collar and finish or the strap and finish, right? Or as I pass, if he has this hand position. So that's why I don't like this hand position. Also, I am a 200 pounder right now. This hand position just gets your arm pushed this way by large humans, right? And then you go, oh fuck, I don't want this. And they go this way and then they go, you mortar or whatever, right? So for me, uh, fight heavy divisions and, and uh, absolute, I find this just to be a temporary fix to where you have your hands like this. Now look, now I have side control, but there's really no arm here, right? And if I start looking for the arm, he's gonna accompany me and then it makes space for, for him. So that's why I say this is just a temporary fix to a side control problem, all right? And that's your move of the week. Go train.